Hey, it's Jim from the Janku team, and I want to take a look at cropping images in Inkscape today. So I'm going to start by just opening up my file browser here, and then I'm going to go to my downloads, and I have this thumbnail here. So this is the thumbnail that we use on the Janku channel for our Inkscape tutorials. I'm going to grab this and I'll just drag it over into Inkscape. That'll open up the file here. And then we have a couple different ideas that we're playing with. I'm going to clean up all these miscellaneous pieces here. So in order to tell how many there are, I'm actually going to first go up to my file, document properties, and I'm going to resize the page content to the drawing. And so that puts a box around all the different elements that we have here. So if I zoom out, I can select everything around the top here. And you can see that there's a bunch of things there. I'll just delete those. I'm going to select everything under the image here. I'm going to delete those and I'm going to get everything to the right, delete. And then if I come back up to my file, document properties, I should be able to resize the document to the drawing or selection. So we should have only one drawing left. You can see that it resizes down there. That looks good. I can get out of this. I'll just maximize my Inkscape here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Okay. So you'll notice here, we still have some margin around the edges of this image. So if I select this image, you'll see this margin on the white space. So this has to do with the drop shadows that were added to this specific image, but I want to have this cropped out so it is the exact dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. So a way I can actually do that is I could come up here and I could draw a square so I can grab this rectangle tool and I just start drawing this shape out here. And then I'll just resize this to 1280 by 720, so I get that perfect dimension. And then I can grab my Move tool here, and I can move this over my current image here. So we want it to look something like that. And I could always do a page down to actually push this all the way to the background so you can see the, the first image there and see how this aligns, and then start paging it up like that, if that's helpful. And I'll bring it back up to the front here. And now what I want to do is I want to select all the objects that are behind this image. So I'll click and I'll drag and I'll select everything there and you can see all these individual objects are selected. And then I'm going to come up to my menu and I'm going to go to object and I'm going to go to clip and then set. And this will crop out my image based on the dimensions of that rectangle that I put on the top. So let's try that. So I crop that like that and now we shouldn't have any margin on the outside anymore. So if I come back up to my file document properties. Now I can resize the page to the drawing again. And you'll see that that jumps down to that exact shape there. So now we're looking pretty good for our YouTube thumbnail. Now I'll just update this for this actual video that we're shooting right now. So we're going to change this from setting tool defaults to how to crop in Inkscape 0.92. And then I'm just going to change the color here. It looks like this text got updated. So I'll select this text here and then I'll come down here and I'll just choose the white color, which is right over here. Okay. And now I'll go to File, Export as PNG, and now I'll open up my export settings over here. And you notice that we have the width set to 1280 and the height to 720, so that's perfect. And then I'll just choose the location here. So I can say on my desktop, we'll call this thumbnail, and I'll save that. And then I'll just press export. So this is kind of a multi-step process if you haven't exported a PNG from Inkscape before. So you set how you want to save it and then you actually have to come down here and press export to actually do the saving. So that should save that. And if I flip over here to my desktop, you'll see that thumbnail here. Excellent. So this is good to go off and put on YouTube now. I hope that was helpful in helping you understand how to crop things in Inkscape. If you like these type of tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of content like this coming out every Wednesday. Thanks for watching and take care.